Econine is sponsored by your Washington area Toyota dealers. I don't know about you, but I just love that little ditty. It's such I keep, a breath I keep of fresh waiting air. for them to create those little <laughs> figures where we're sitting in the car. Because oh. <laughs> that appears that's the only chance we're going to get an Eco 9. And the environment matters here at WUSA 9. And by the way, we bring up Eco 9 because it's, it's a new way for us to bring you news about changes around us and the environmental impacts in the DMV. Uh -huh. And Senator Evan Koslaw focuses on electric vehicles and DC regulations when it comes to charging them. vehicles or EVs in DC, but one question that many have is how exactly can I charge my car if I only have street parking? So let's verify. Once you start driving these, it's very hard to go back. Keith Levenberg of DC describes himself as a tech guy, so he jumped at the opportunity to buy electric. Oh, it just makes you feel good. He and his wife have two electric cars, one that sits in the driveway in the back. This is definitely the DUI setup. And the other that sits here in the front of the house on the street with an unorthodox setup. We have this extension cord that's running over the top of the trees, down our house into a, an outdoor outlet. And he's not alone. All over social media, you'll see photos like these. Cords wrapped around cars, dangling from trees, stretched out across the sidewalk. So let's verify. What type of charging is allowed under DC law? Our sources are the District Department of Transportation and the Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs. First, it's important to note that not all chargers are the same. Level one chargers use a common 120 volt outlet. Depending on your car, it could take days to fully charge. Level two chargers are significantly faster. You could usually get a full battery overnight, but these need to be installed, for example, at your home or business. And finally, level three chargers are super fast. Some cars can get full power in just 30 minutes, but these chargers are not typically located at homes. This is the official Tesla high powered wall connector. So first, let's talk about people with driveways. According to DCR regulations, you can install a level two charging station on your private property so long as you have a proper permit. You could also run an extension cord from your home to the car. As for those of you with street parking, it's a bit more complicated. According to DDOT, you can charge from your house using a level one charger, but you need to follow a bunch of rules, including that the cord needs to run perpendicular to your house, and it must be covered by a special ramp cable meaning that many of those dangling cords are not allowed. As for building a level two charging station on the curb, that's not allowed for private homeowners. Only vendors like a developer or Tesla can do that. Although you can ask for your local ANC to vouch for one. I think the easier it is to get juice into these cars, the more people will be encouraged to buy them. Okay, so that was a lot, so just to recap, we can verify that if you have a driveway, both level two and level one chargers are allowed, but if you have street parking, just level one chargers are allowed, and you have to follow a bunch of strict regulations. So guys, if you see one of those dangling wires, yeah, that's probably not allowed.